Hey guys, I'm back. I hope the stream is straightened out. I did a few things. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to start like nothing happened. And hopefully you guys will come back to see the unjarrings or unbaggings because they're bags today. Hi Lizzie Rivas, how are you? I'm having trouble with my stream, so you guys let me know if it's acting up again. I just don't even know what else to do. I did unplug a few things, put things back together. Hi Leslie. I just sent out your necklace, Miss Bull, and I think you'll probably get it by the weekend. I'm glad everything got straightened out with that. Hi, Guillermo. Alisa. Guys, this is a jewelry jar unjarring, unbagging. We're going to try to do two bags. I don't know if we can get through it because it's, um, it's crazy. What I did was unplug the modem upstairs, and then I have two boosters, but when the guy left me last time... He took one of the boosters off, and then I thought I knew more than him, and I plugged in one of the boosters. And I'm thinking, maybe I'm just, like, making things got, what do you call it, ricochet or something? <laughs> do I still have the bag of LPs? You mean uh, the little 45s? I still have them. The ones that I showed in the thrift haul with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and all those songs I never even heard of? I still have them, Yes. How are you, Sandy? I'm going to open this bag, guys. This one was only $29, and I got it for less than that. I got it for $20. The... Hey, Jude, how are you? The manager told me she was going to start doing $20 bags. I don't know if she's just thinking that people don't buy them because they're too expensive, but she actually said that she's breaking up a $50 bag into two $40 bags, which basically should have just reduced the price to $40, right? And let me have the big one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. I mean, she seems honest and everything, but... And then the other bag that I have that I wanted to get to, if the stream doesn't act up on us, was 50 and that one, it looks like it might have Bakelite in it. I don't know. I'm excited about it. And I... Because I rarely pay attention to plastic and beads, and I'm going to start doing it after I watched Princess Casserole's video on all that interesting Bakelite she showed. So I never knew Bakelite came... I'm always just thinking bangles and, you know, things like that. There's a lot of different things. Okay, here's a ring. Uh, it looks like a stainless steel band that maybe was part of a craft project. I just don't want to be too disappointed with this $20 bag because I really like that in Goodwill, and I have found gold there. I've actually found it on the rack, but maybe I'll just have to stick to the racks, right, if they don't put anything good in the bags because you kind of figure, well, they're going to put all the... They're going to scrutinize all the good stuff and... Um, you know, I'll just have to wait and see if something falls through the cracks into the racks or into the counters. I have no idea. I think they're broken. I think these were bangles. I thought they were might be earring hoops. They would have been cute for earring hoops. But they're not. I am leaving to Chicago tomorrow, guys. Wish me luck that they don't cancel my flight again. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be flying. Tomorrow night I'll be flying over there. I rescheduled my flight. Well, this is kind of cute. It's got that glass. At least it looks like glass. It's actually plastic. I've seen some big ones like these. I think it's Claire's. Yeah, sure is. You can tell Claire's right off the bat. Thank you so much, my Skywatch. I appreciate that. Oh, this is cute. Is that a crack there? It might be a crack. Oh, and I thought it was so cute because look, it's a little slip-on kind and very light. That's cute though. I kind of like that. Let me see what y'all are saying in the chat because you're probably telling me something important that I sometimes miss. Thank you, Thelma. <laughs> Carol, I'm glad you came back. Thanks for being here. Joan and Bougie Bear is here too. And a lot of these people, guys, go check out their channels because they have good channels. They do a lot of jewelry talk. I really enjoyed your interview today. I was, I saw it in like three different parts because, you know, I got to work. <laughs> I got to pretend I'm working sometimes, guys, so I can only catch up with so many videos. But that was a really good interview with Adam, uh, that Adam had you on his show, April. I enjoyed it. All right. And then Violet's in there, too. Elisa Perez, Guillermo. Thanks, guys, for joining me. All right. This is kind of rubbery. It kind of feels like, you know, have you seen those ones that they're making for new moms that have that really rubbery feel and then the kid can chomp on it and which I think is disgusting actually why would anybody want to do that 
Just let them bust your, bust your pearls like my kid did. My beautiful pearls, genuine pearls that I had thrifted and got for like a dollar. And then I had to pay $100 to get them restrung. About $80 I paid to get them restrung. But of course they were knotted and everything. So only one of them popped out and I managed to find it. But yeah, she was about six months old. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she yanked on it and chewed on it. These are cute. These are real pearls too, guys. This is interesting. I do like the leather things. I really do. Now this store, as I told you, I, I'm, I'm leery about what they're putting out in these jars because they're small and they're kind of loose and they're not that impressive. But I thought, you know what? Let me just save the judgment till I really look through one. I do like this. This is cute. This is really cute. Let me bring that a little bit farther down right there. Yeah, I kind of like that. I wanted to put a light color pattern down again, guys, because people were saying that the dust from the from the jewelry was getting on their nerves. And it kind of does, the lint. But we'll see. I don't know. I like to interchange things. I love this. This is really cool. These are some, I forgot what they call these. It's not Baroque and it's not Mave. It's another name, and I just saw it mentioned in a magazine today, and I forgot. Oh, I forgot. It's got another name. And I was calling them melted because I heard somebody call them that too. These are cute. I think these are Stella and Dot. You guys have seen these? This is really tiny. Yeah, so you can't please everybody. I just like to switch it up. Dark, light, whatever. Hey, Carmen, how are you? This is cute. These are common too in every bag, but these are different. I like when they throw in something different, like the multicolored here. All right, guys, I'm going to have a giveaway today. I don't know if I gave away a bead bag the other day, and I may be giving you bake life. <laughs> because, like I said, I just started paying attention to the beads. Look at that, broken. Um, and I think I did give away a bead lot not too long ago. And I put in some amethyst beads and all kinds of stuff because they're just taking up a lot of room. And I can't list everything. I mean, I could live to be 120, and I wouldn't list all this jewelry, guys. Oh, look at that. That's cute. I love me a little locket. I don't care if it's from the dime store. I just love them. This really looks like from the 70s or something. This little chain totally looks like something from the 70s. Is the stream still okay, guys? Oh, it's Hallmark, isn't it? Or is that just a smudge? It looks like a smudge. Let me, let me check my thing. I do too. I really do. No, it's just a smudge. It looks like somebody tried to glue something on it. Probably the picture, right? And then it and then it had the little what do you call it? The little glue remnant there. To left over from all that glue. Thelma Cable is here. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Miss Cable. Yeah, well, you know. <gasps> How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Carla was just showing her some of her, showing us some of her crazy earrings. Look at that. It's a stoplight. That is too cute. <laughs> I hope we find the match to that one because that is cute. And this is pretty. This is a nice fashion piece. I like that. Let me see if this is too close. There we go. That is very nice. I don't see it maker's mark on this one. Oh, it's getting stuck okay this is not going to work because it's getting stuck on that cute embroidery so we'll see oh well broken pieces of course the watch where would we be without the watch this one looks like it may be running it's a casio that's a bingo right there i can get 25 dollars for a casio watch all day long on ebay so at least this is a nice one pathfinder that's really nice. Baby G does better, but this one looks broken, though. Look, this guy really loved his watch. Look, he looks like he hinged it right there. Oh, well. Maybe I'll get 10 then. Because <laughs> the band is messed up. <laughs> this is cute. That looks 70s or 80s, too. Look at that. That's cute. That is some cute links. Look at that. These are like little chain links plastic Etsy Etsy for sure these are nice and paired they're pretty very nice little orange color guys there's 69 people watching and only 15 thumbs up can you guys go over there together and hit the thumbs up oh I love these 
They're just little costume, but I like them. They're pretty. They're kind of like a little net, and they seem lightweight. And I do like that stoplight. I hope I find the other one. Here's a little cross. Looks like just silver tone, but it's cute. And here's a tile with a skull on it and a butterfly. I don't, I don't get the combination of that, but butterfly and a skull. Okay. Ooh, that's cute. That's different. It looks kind of gothic. That's kind of cool. Right? Gunmetal color. Looks like a coffin or something from a horror movie, but it's kind of cute. Oh, this is pretty. Some of these are so interesting. Look at that. That would make, that kind of reminds me of something flapper. For some reason, you know, a lot of people pay attention to the flapper necklaces, but have we paid attention to the bracelets? I haven't. I'm going to go, I, but this is what it reminds me of. It's so cute. It's got a lot of different sequins, or rather like the bugle beads glued on, seed beads. I don't see anything missing. Then there's enamel right here, but these are actually beads. That is interesting. I would totally throw that up on Posh. That's pretty. Okay, these earrings are cute too. Hey, Norma, how are you? I'm glad you're here. A little screw and clip. Another really pretty one. Okay, this is the $20 bag, guys. Well, it was marked 29, but I get a discount. Plastic, cute. And, oh, I had some earrings like this, and they look really pretty. They're not the bendy kind, but they're almost made the same. I think they just tightened them up. One of the bendy ones, guys, I got one in it. The kind of pink or purple ring in your left. Oh, this one, I've showed it in my collection. It's a Swarovski crystal that my sister gave me. It's set in sterling. I think she said she got it at Ross. Isn't it cute? Ross, Ross or TJ Maxx? Um... And it came apart. It was one of those really fun bendy ones that really can go into any shape. And I was playing with it, and boom, it popped. So they kind of like little, they kind of nest on each other. They're really interesting. This looks like sterling. I don't know, maybe not. Sometimes it looks like it, and it's not. Let me check. Just a little heart there. See what's going on with this one? Nope, 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 nope. I think it's just silver tone. Cute, though. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. I do love it. I was complimenting her on it. I told the story in my ring collection video. We were sitting at church one day, and we don't go to the same church, but we went to church together that day. And I complimented on her, and she said, oh, you can have it. If you guys are lucky enough to have sisters, take care of them. <laughs> that they are definitely a blessing, brothers and sisters. This is pretty. This is really nice. It's seed beads. They're kind of a pewter. No, not pewter. Maybe more like a steel or gunmetal color. But it's very nice, and it's not wrinkly. Sometimes these get all bent and wrinkled. So, not cool. I mean, it is cool. It's not cool when they're bent. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so nervous when I get started, and my stream is all messed up. It gets me in a bad mood, and I don't want to be. I want to thank you all for being here at this hour hanging out with me it really is um, a delight for me to do this and i'm glad that you're here i'm going to try to do one from chicago and i'm definitely going to try to do my show on at 3 p.m central as well i'm hoping i can grab some bags from over there <laughs> and we'll open one together this is cute this is different it's not quite the bib style it's more like a collar right it really comes across nice Yes, have some wine. Oh, gosh, I wish. I need to get, send my my husband to do that for me, but he's trying to take care of the dog right now. <laughs> oh, this one's cute, too. Hi, Ron. Oh, well, I guess he was timed out. <laughs> 
this is cute too. I don't, I really like the way they just, jang, what do you call it? They just dangle right there. This earring is stuck though. But the, the chain feels rough and I hate when that happens. I'm going to have my husband take those off of there because nobody can wear this chain. It's too rough. Oh, I hate when that happens. This is interesting. It's still got a tag from where? Premier. Yes, Premier. Nice chain. Still got the price, guys. How much was this Rolo silver chain? Doesn't have the price, but has the tag. It's a nice chain. Look, it's supposed to be short, like a little choker length. That's nice. Thank you, Shasta Smith. I'm so glad you're here. Let me say hello to a few more people. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Carolyn Connors here. Daisy Naples. And let me see. And thank you so much to my troll patrol there. I really appreciate it. And Kimberly Pike and Norma. And Linda Bennett. How are you guys doing tonight? We got some crazy weather here in Texas, too. So, I don't know. Maybe it's coming from Chicago over here. Because we got really 30s. I think almost 30. We were like in the 40s this morning. I got to wear my boots. That's always exciting when I can wear my Ugg boots. And uh, my daughter-in-law says, be sure and pack some warm boots. I said, are my Uggs good enough? She said, yeah, but bring some wool socks. <laughs> I was like, I never wear wool socks with my boots. You're not supposed to wear the socks with the Ugg boots. Okay, this is really pretty, guys, and it's busted, and it's going into the beadlot that I'm going to give away tonight. And this is what I mean by my beadlot. I don't have any loose beads because somebody said the other day um, that really if you're going to take apart necklaces, it might be better if you just send the whole necklace because, you know, you might need a part of it. I don't know. And it's just a lot of trouble to take them all apart. And then they roll around on the floor and forget it. it. Takes the fun out of giving things away. Oh, these are cute. Little earrings. Nice and matched up, too. Not bad. This is not a, ba a bad bag for 30 or 20 is what I would have paid. Or what I paid. Not too bad. There's some good stuff in here. There's some sellable stuff in here. And it's fun. That's the whole point of these jars. They're fun. They really are. Here's a little cross. I think it's just silver tone. Feels like just silver tone. But it's pretty. Nice earring, too. Articulated there. Ooh, pearls. Can't go wrong with pearls. Oh, these are pretty. This looks like something like St. John or something, you know? It looks like it's well made. Really nice. I love when they look like this. They remind me of bubbles. I don't see... Yeah, here's a little tag. What does it say? Stella and Dot? Right? Yeah, I think it says Stella and Dot. That is such a popular brand right now. Or maybe it was a few years ago, but I keep finding it in the jewelry jars. That is really cute, and I think I have the matching bracelet. I think I have... Well, similar, where it's kind of like jiggly pearls. Just a whole cluster of pearls are super cool. Oh, these are nice earrings, too. Nice and match too. That'll go in my earring lot. And was that a magnet there? Everything was sticking to it. Oh, this bracelet is magnetized. Hey, this is good to wear thrifting, isn't it? Just run things over the counter goods. These are super nice. I love this this hoop. It's shiny and nice. And then these are matched and they're pretty. Nice, nice size for a hoop too. I love that. Oh, I'm so glad that they matched them up. We did have a match on these. Good. Good matches. And a nice watch here. This is a Swiss Army. That's a good one. I don't know if it's cracked there. I can't feel anything. But that's a good brand. It feels really nice. Swiss Army. That's a really cool watch. I like that for me. I don't know if it's a man's or not, but that is such a pretty watch. I like it. Good condition for the band and everything. So nice. And then here is 
I'm so, sorry about all that shaking, guys. I think this the earring. Oh, it's it is just the earrings, man. I thought it was the bangle and the earrings that match. Those are cool. These I like. They're faux turquoise, I think. I, I really think they're just faux turquoise. They are tiger eye, though. I don't know. They could be. They could be genuine. I'm going to have to take a better look, but I like them. They're very substantial, and yet they're not heavy. Let me wear those tomorrow. i got to be careful with the jewelry I wear, though, because I hate taking it off, and a few times they have made me take it off at the airport, and I know people just look at me like I'm stupid, but... <laughs> I got to wear my jewelry, guys. It's either that or pack it, but I don't know. These are pretty. These are really pretty. They're hearts, and they look like a sun at the top or a flower. And then this little thing at the bottom has some kind of etching, too. I'm going to do my nails, too. I just didn't want to go through all this jewelry and then do them again. Because going through this jewelry really, really works on your nails. These are cute. And I don't know, lots of these charms in here, but I'm going to look closer at some of them because sometimes they turn out to be, you know who, James Avery. Let's see. No, this one does not. This one really looks like sterling, but I don't see anything on it, any kind of mark, but we'll see. We'll take a better look. I have found a lot of, no, this is probably from a craft project. I have ignored a lot of charms, and they turn out to be, James Avery, and I haven't even showed you the ones I've found that have fallen through the wayside. This is pretty. Can you guys see that? It's like a tiger eye or something, and I, it looks like sterling on these beads. And it is marked on the clasp there. This is pretty, very pretty. Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay. Oh my goodness, these are little there's a little chain in here, and it's tangled up, and it is snowflakes. When these get tangled, they get tangled. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I'll be able to get that out. There it goes. Okay. And these are two earrings with a snowflake on that, and then the brace, I mean, the necklace. The necklace didn't have the snowflakes. It was the earrings. This is just a little bit of a disc, like a nice little disc. Yeah, this is pretty too. It's a nice layering piece. Pretty. Okay. Before we leave, remind me to do the giveaway because I may forget. I got my mind on so many things right now. This is busted leather. And, oops, we almost dropped this necklace here. This one says, Kendra, Kendra Scott, bingo. Bingo for Kendra Scott. I think I'm going to give this away, too. We'll do two giveaways tonight, guys. But I'm not going to mail them till I get back, okay? Wow, that's only the second Kendra Scott I got. I think I got some, I got that real pretty tassel one. I forgot the name of it, and I sold it for like $80 on Poshmark. Sparkle, shine, and make a wish. This is interesting. This is joy, which I think means jewelry. Joinia Cosmetics, when you, I don't know, it says something back there. And then it's got a really cute little wishbone. I saw one like this almost, it looked like the same brand. It had the word Louisiana on it. And it said, my heart belongs to Louisiana. And they had it in the counter. I'll show it to you in my ride-along. It was so cute because you couldn't tell what it said. It was so small. And it just looked like the kind of ID, you know how they wear those little nameplates and stuff. And they're so cute, like the really delicate ones. So I really liked it. I almost bought it, but I'm not from Louisiana. But we do have a lot of transplants since the hurricane. We had a lot of transplants from, from Louisiana, and Houston has has changed a bit because of it. Could these be fake Kendra's, guys? Because, look, here's another one. It could be fake. Now I'm thinking, I don't know. Wait, 
What is this, an earring? Oh, okay, I don't know. See, I thought it was this, and that did not look like Kendra Scott, but here's another one. I don't know. They sure are pretty, though. They sure are pretty, but I don't know if they're fake. I have not studied them. They feel nice, though. They really do. They feel weighty. They feel nice. They have a really pretty gallery at the back. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I just don't know. This is really cute. It's got a cross on this side. That's pretty. That's that's a pretty addition to a craft lot. Okay. A cowboy boot. Always welcome. Around these parts. More of these silly charms. I don't know. There's too many of them. I can't can't take to the time to show them. We did have a match on this. This is a nice earring. Gold. And then this one also matched up. And they're in good condition. These are pretty. These are nice, professional, I'll fire you tomorrow type of jewelry. I'll fire you on Friday. Oh, this is India. Made in India. I don't know how this would go, though. It looks like it may have fallen off of something because you can't really attach it. Maybe it was a brooch. It's pretty. That's a stone, too. It's cold. These are all cold. It's cute. That's a nice addition to a craft lot, too. Craft lot. I was thinking I'm going to start selling the craft lots. I think I'm going to try putting them on a... I think I'm going to open a Facebook page. I'm going to look into it and see what, see what I can come with. Maybe during the summer when I'm home <laughs> and I have time to dedicate to it. These are super cute. I really like these. People that go on cruises, they love this kind of stuff. They are so cute. And they're really nice. Glue it to a jar. for. I thought about you, Jude, when I saw it. I was like, that would totally belongs on a box or a jar. It really does. Here's a cute watch. Very cute clamper watch. Black enamel. Oh, my gosh. I just wish they were wind up. So much money on batteries. This is cute. This is another little piece of something. Nice rhinestones in there brighter than most that I see and we needed one of these. Okay, this is probably what came out of that Indian thing. For sure. 2016 National Park something or the other. Okay, here's some per no shells that match too. These are cute. Very, very cute. Yeah, I just checked in for my flight. I was so afraid they were going to say, sorry, canceled again. Of course, last time they did I check in last time? Yeah, I think I checked in and then they these are broken cufflink parts. And then they emailed me, canceled. Worn earring, so we don't want that. Oh, this is a nice cufflink. I hope we have the other one. It's different. Very different. Lots of hoops matched up, guys. These look kind of interesting. These may be sterling. Where's my magnet? I'm sitting here with no magnet. Let me see. This is not a very heavy... Uh, well, it's heavy enough to pick up these base metal earrings, but they're cute. I really thought they were sterling. They had a nice look to them. And what is this? Some kind of wire. I think someone was making jewelry on that. Okay, my husband saw this from the far away. It's Orvis. I, I guess it's a watch. I was thinking it was a stopwatch, but it's a watch. It's cute. It's very heavy. Very nice little pocket watch. It's a good brand. I don't know what that would sell for if we get it running. My husband has way too many now that I've been getting these jewelry jars. <laughs> we find them every once in a while, and he's like, that's mine. That's pretty. That is, I don't know, it feels, it's a pin. It's maybe a tie tack or something because it's very heavy. It's too heavy for it to be an earring, and look at the back. That's a beautiful abalone, though. Oh, it's genuine. That's very pretty. Nice lapel pin or tack pin. More of this charm stuff. Some stretch. This is a tiny little bracelet. How cute. Somebody was probably making some jewelry for their grandkids or kids. That's super cute. Here's a little faux turquoise choker. 
Looks like it's busted though, so I'll put that in a craft lot. Ooh, this is cute. This is the um, Aztec. And this one is stamped. Yay, Sterling. I did ask her, did you put Sterling in there at least? And she said, yes. So I guess this is the Sterling piece she threw in there. I'm telling you. They know what we want. They know what keeps us coming back. Oh my gosh. This has a really nice signature. It's Tasco. And I think it's one of the designers that I've been telling you about. No, it says Tasco and Sterling, which is different because sometimes you see, you know, that little eagle or some other Mexican um, hallmark. I thought it said Sin Fuegos, which is one of the designers, but it was Sterling. It was the word Sterling. So that's it there. That's nice. That's nice. I always sell these. They, they're, they're pretty popular. Everybody likes this. And this is a nice little brooch. Different. I've had them like this that they sell pretty quickly, like in the um, in the pendants. You know what I would like? I think that would look cool as a ring. A really thick, big one would be cool. I like that. I've seen it in person in Mexico City, and it was quite exciting. I think this is Sterling, too. It's a harp. I used to follow this lady here on YouTube. She'd play the harp, and um, she was a purse enthusiast, too. Yeah, this is Sterling, guys. It says Stir. Then it's got like a little flower and a copyright for their hallmarks. And uh, she was a lot of fun to watch, but I forgot her name. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you from people. And she had this huge harp that she would, well, they're all huge, harp that she would play before or after her video. She was a lot of fun. That's really nice. And that's a very unique piece. That's one thing I think you guys probably know. When the pieces are unique, you can ask for good money. I mean, you know, you always see a guitar, but a harp? I hardly ever see a harp. Here's Santa charm, but these are just those little silver tone charms. Um, but when you see a harp, that's different. It's a different earring, too. All right, it looks like we're just getting the matches to all the other ones. And... Another earring here. So I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, do you, do you want me to open the other bag? Is the stream good enough to open the other bag, or should we just do it later? Because it's big. It's a big bag. Yes? Okay, let's open the other bag. If Even if we only get halfway... Because, I mean, yeah, this was a good bag. Not a bad, and then these Dior things from the cruises, somebody told me. But supposedly they have like a, a real diamond little chip at the top. I don't know. Stream is fine. Okay, let's go for it. Let's see if that big one has, I don't know, because I'm dying to test that big one for Bakelite. I don't know. I've been kind of excited about that. And, um, uh, Okay. Did you guys see that Kendra Scott that I'm going to give away? That's cute. That popped out. I'm going to give that away and I'm going to give a beadlock. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this one also had that cameo. Man, I'm going to run out of room on this table. Here's the cameo. It's cute. It is cute. Looks like something from Sarah Coventry or something. I get my bags at the Goodwill, and I found some at the Salvation Army and Family Thrift as well. This chain feels nice, but it's just silver tone. And I don't see a maker's mark, but this is really pretty, and it is shell, guys. It's that abalone. Yeah, you can see the abalone back there. Cool. She's an interesting looking chick too. Look at her. She looks a little angry. She kind of looks like Ursula the, the mermaid, the bad mermaid. Or what was she, an octopus? I don't know, I forgot. I enjoy opening jars even if it's not, even if it's, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's therapeutic or something. 
Oh my gosh, I just, I can't stop. This one's beautiful. Look at that earring. That one has a mark on it. What does it say? That is pretty, and it is in such good condition. Gold tone. This one says Park Lane. That's a pretty earring. I like that. And I like this little ring. I saw that too. Little um, diamond, rhinestone rather. That's cute. And then we have some faux turquoise earrings. Those are cute. And a bracelet that kind of reminds me of Kate Spade. But it's Charming Charlie and it's $10. Wow. That is cute though. And here's a pretty brooch. No maker on that, but cute. And here's one that looks just like it. Similar anyway. Wow. Okay. This is kind of bronze looking. Very heavy. Very small though. It looks like somebody really squeezed it in there. I showed this to my daughter. We could see it through the bag. This one was really, she said, that's mine. Please, that's mine. I'm like, gosh. Can't even, I'm not even going to show it to her next time. It's a mirror on this side, guys. See that? It's a mirror. That is so cute. And it's like a little plastic or acrylic there. The gold tone still looks very nice. It has little laurels and flowers and a beautiful heavy chain. Very nice chain, Rolo chain, double Rolo, actually. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It just reminds me of something Disney. Oh, it is marked right there on the on the jump ring. Let's see what it says. This bag was 50 and I got it for 35 because I get a teacher discount every day after 3 o'clock. And then the other one, the smaller one we just finished, was marked 29 and I got it for 20 Oh, it's Avon. How sweet. Does anybody remember this from Avon? I don't. But I remember they make good jewelry. I always like their quality of their vintage pieces. They're just so cute. And they really do last. Oh, this is interesting. What in the world? Look at that, guys. It's just like a twisted pendant and a nice-looking chain. That chain looks like gold. What is that? It's tangled. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute because these are in the way. This giant thing is in the way, which is really interesting, too. Did you guys do any listing? I did. Oh, this is cute. This is a good brand, too, guys. Francesca's. Have y'all seen it at certain stores? Look, these are brand new in a package. Little satin silk flower type. They are cool. $22. I think they sell this at Nordstrom's. That is cute. Okay, I'm going to have to hold off on that because a lot of these things are tangled up in here. These are pretty. The tassels, these are still nice and new. Okay, yeah, this is going to be my new favorite place. I think they really take the care to put some nice things in here. And no glasses this time. This is the ones that usually put the sunglasses. <laughs> and then I was like, y'all didn't put glasses, right? And she didn't say anything. Well, actually, they were kind of nice glasses. I don't want to make them mad at me, you know? I don't want to be too grumpy. These are cute. So I had to, like, backtrack a little bit. But they were really nice glasses, and they really were. This is a cute brooch. No mark on it. Okay, I think my daughter liked this one, too. She's crazy. She can't have everything. She thought it looked like an eye, but it's not going to hang this way. It's going to hang the other way. Because we could see some of these through the bag that when I brought them home last night. The chain's a little worse for wear, but that's a nice pendant. That's a nice pendant. We can easily change out that chain because the chain has faded somewhat. Okay. Cute watch. Feels kind of cheap, though, on the band, but it's very pretty. Can we pull this chain out now? Okay, here it is. That is so... St Why would anybody put... I think it's just tangled. There's no way they could try to wear this thing. It's. I thought it was a brooch, but it's just like a twisted wire. I mean, a 
twisted piece of metal in there. It's so strange, and I don't think that's gold after all the chain. The jump ring looked a little funny. Okay, the jump ring's sticking, but the chain is not. That's not either. That's really weird. Let me see if there's anything on the jump ring anyway, because usually when it's gold, it's not going to stick at all. Not the jump ring or anything. But, I don't know, maybe they just wanted to fix their gold chain with a cheap jump ring. We'll have to investigate that one further. Ooh, here's a cute bracelet. Very thick. Look at that. It's got, like, mesh construction. And then it's got, like, a satin finish. Well, no, the ones inside are mesh. That's cute. Lobster claw. That's a cute bracelet. And here's a really pretty pink. Oh my gosh. Lots of statement necklaces, and I did list a lot of them. And I sold one. I was so happy that I got motivated to list more because I would have I almost didn't list the one that sold. And I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, you should. Because I post a lot of pictures of things that sell and things that I find. And it was one of those wooden ones, guys, that I really said, oh, I'm not going to list that. It's not going to sell. Well, it sold two, three days after I listed it. Uh, this is really nice. It's really cold. So it's got some kind of stones. I like the colors on it. I like the little tassel. The bag is from uh, Goodwill. And uh, I was so excited. It sold for $23. Yeah, this is just a little bangle enamel. I guess it's a clamper. Yeah, there it is. Not bad. All right, another watch, I bet. This one feels kind of funny, though. Oh, it's one of those Harry Potter ones. It says Ravenclaw. Wow, we were just talking about Harry Potter in our English classes today. That is cool. That is really cool. She's probably going to want that one, too, but I'm not going to tell her about it. I'm going to list it. I'm going to list that one on eBay. Ravenclaw. Yep. Look at these, guys. These are cute. I wouldn't wear them, but many people love these big, beautiful, fun earrings. These are like, what do you call that? Raffia? <laughs> They're so cute. Wow. Where, who are these from? Let me see. I can read the, the brand under there. Core? Core. Core, yeah. Lead compliant. Designed in the USA. Those are cute. Very runway looking. Cute. Okay, I have found a few of these, and I don't know what this stone is, but it's very cold. It may just be ceramic, but it's very nice. Oh, look, we have the matching necklace to the bracelet. This looks like an old Coro or something, but I don't see any kind of a maker mark on it. It is so heavy, guys. It is very rich looking. I like that a lot. That's really cute. 100 people watching and only half of y'all put the thumbs up. Can y'all go over there and hit it, please? Thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching and staying with me. We are going to have two giveaways. One was the Kendra Scott, and I better find it. And before I lose it, here it is. No, that's the... Anyway, it's, uh, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll find it. I will find it, and I'm going to give it away. I don't know if you guys got here late or not, but you can watch the replay. Oh, here it is. And the other is a beadlot, and the beadlot are really just necklaces. Some are busted, some aren't. So, we're going to give those two away as soon as we finish this jar, and we'll try to make it a little faster, okay? Okay, kids, kids jewelry. These are the Italian ID bracelets is what they used to call them. I don't know what they call them now. This one's nice, though. Oops. This one's nice, though, because it doesn't have anything on it. It's like blank. You can put your own on there if you want. Let me fix this camera, guys. Sorry about that. Hope you didn't get too dizzy. Look at this. This is cute. It's a stretchy. Stretchies are cute. Pink. Kind of a pink coral look. That's really cute. We did get the match on the faux turquoise. 
and two pairs of earrings on this too. Nice. These are really pretty. And they're plastic, which makes them very comfortable. Hey, frugal gal, how are you? Okay. That's very nice, that matching one. This is cute too. This looks very, almost like a science project or something. Isn't that cute? I think that's interesting. Blue and gold and lightweight. It almost, almost like a little manipulative toy or a math manipulative. It's even kind of flexible. Fun. Have fun with your jewelry. Why not? Okay, here's a cute ring. I think I had the, in another jar, guys, I think I unjarred the bracelet that matches it. I really do. It looks very familiar. Gold earring. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Okay. Pretty earring. This one looks vintage. I don't see a mark right now. Oop, that's really tight. Green. Mm, let me see. Another watch. Cheap watch. Band feels like, oh my gosh, the band feels like it's made out of paper. Horrible. And I think I already showed you these earrings. Or unless there was another pair there. These are pretty. I hope we have these to match. Turquoise and gold. I love that together. I hope we find a match for that one. Uh, I don't know. Kind of a slinky looking necklace here. It does look like copper, though. Look. I don't know about this part, though. This part doesn't look like copper. Very interesting. And these are earrings. Chandelier style. Pretty. And I already showed you that from the other bag. Okay. These are the ones that I... See, they're tangled, too. Okay, here's a little sterling, maybe. Maybe sterling, maybe not. I don't know. No, nope, maybe not. Is it marked right there? Yeah, it does look like a little mark right there. It is glass, I think. Let's see what it says right there in the hook. Looks like it says something. Yeah, go over there and hit that thumbs up, guys. I'm so glad. 65 of y'all went and did that. And we only had like 40 a minute ago, so 20 of you hadn't done it. So I appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We do a lot of jewelry talk here, and I do have a new Sunday series coming at 3 p.m. Central. Well, I'm going to talk about not only what I haul and am drowning in here. It's The walls are closing in on me, guys, with all this jewelry. So I'm listing it. I'm selling it. I'm going to show you how to do the same. That's a cute earring. It's a vintage earring. Look at the back of that. That's so interesting. Look at that. That's the sweetest pink, and it's glass. I hope we find it, the match. This is, um, I think, faux snakeskin bangle. And these brooches, they're just coming out of nowhere. I think they were made to look vintage. I wonder what company came up with that idea, because they didn't do a very good job of making them look vintage. They just look kind of cheap. Uh, you missed a whole bag, but that's okay. You can watch the replay, and we're going to have a, a giveaway anyway, so you're here just in time. We're actually giving away uh, Kendra Scott. It's, it says Kendra Scott. It could be a fake. I don't know. I don't know that much about Kendra Scott. I know I've sold one. Here's a pearl. Um, but they're all different, and the one that I found before was a tassel kind. Okay, I don't know. If this is supposed to be like that or if it's missing stones. I think it's supposed to be like that. It's a really small bangle, too. Because all of them, I don't think all of them would be missing, but you never know. Sometimes people harvest things out of their jewelry. This is cute. This little statement piece. Yeah, I'm still listing statement pieces. I got on that kick. Because they were, I have a bin dedicated to statement pieces, and it was, they don't even fit anymore. This is pretty. So that's what I've been doing, listing statement pieces. And we're getting, you know, towards spring and prom and homecoming and all that stuff. So, well, no, homecoming's in September, isn't it? But 
all those school dances and things, graduation, people want them. Okay, we saw this too, guys. Look at that. Somebody thought they were being really crafty, and this is oysters. <laughs> I could see this through the glass too. This is so cute. I bet some Girl Scouts did this or something. So they got some kind of shell there, and they made it look like an oyster with a pearl. And they put like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so ugly that it will probably sell. I'm actually going to list it. I'm going to do a Margaret. <laughs> That's what Margaret does over at Texas Gal. She's like, I'm going to pick the funniest, ugliest thing, and, I'll, and I challenge myself to sell it. And she does. <laughs> so I think I'll do that with that shell, too. Here's a big giant hoop. Oh my goodness, that was just too funny. Here's a rubber, no brand watch. I'm gonna tell that lady, you know what you should do? You should put the watches all in one lot. I have another thrift store that I go to. That's what they do. This is an actually, this is actually a really pretty earring. Really cute. A lot of intricate work there with those beads. They put all their watches in one bag. And at the one that I go to in Chicago, they do that too. And the last time my son went to get one for me when when I wasn't there, this is cute. He said, do you want this one with the watch? I was like, no, put that one back. <laughs> so I'm going to try to talk to the manager. Hey, you should do that. Put all the watches on one side. And then just put jewelry on the other. You never know. She might listen to me. It wouldn't hurt, right? This is a cute little mesh ring. I really like that. That is cute. And, oh my gosh, let's see if we can take this bracelet out of here. It's a stretchy, but it's still got some nice stretch. And here's a very well-made faux pearl necklace. I say they're well-made because they're heavy. And look at the pretty little clasp. And is it broken? It looks like it might be broken now. Yeah, I think the other piece is missing. Might be able to fix it. And they're knotted in everything. Oh, these really felt kind of like a nice designer, you know, upper, upper brand, top shelf brand. These are cute, but they're heavy. I can't wear them. I think I showed you this bangle right off the bat, huge bangle. And, oh my goodness, this is interesting. Look at that. See, here's another one. Here's another challenge. Yes. I'm going to stage it. I'm going to talk about it like it's the best thing you've ever seen. And then you're going to push that buy button. I know you are. Can it is marked too with a V? With a V? Or is it a... What is that or a Y? I can't even see. Let me look at the hoop here yeah it's a v could that be this is not victoria's secret and victoria's secret is vs not v so i don't know v i'm trying to think about who that could be okay here's another fun one these are actually pretty colors though these are pretty these are pretty beads too see this is listing them oh these are clips these are clip-ons so these are nice clip-ons. I love to sell clip-ons because they move. And look at this hammered look. This is classic. This is timeless style right there. Love that. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's, it's not style, but we'll look at it anyway. This looks like um, a fun little flag. Reminds me of flags at a carnival or something, but it's cute. Cute colors. Okay, and this is a wire-wrapped quartz of some sort. It looks like a smoky quartz or something. Kind of cute. And we did get the match to the vintage earring that I love so much. These are Etsy bound. Those are pretty. Look how cute the backs are. Even the back is charming. Okay. Uh, this is cute. Pretty colors on there. That's a pretty statement piece. All the rhinestones are there. It looks like all of the other stuff is still there. This is really nice. I like that. 
Okay, I'm going to say hello to some people in the chat. Vanessa, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And Babsy and Martha Garcia and uh, Crizzy, Crizzy, Crizzy J, I think it is, Cindy. And I said hello to my Skywatch earlier. Evil Eve is here. Joan Bobian, I believe. Francis Marlowe. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking with me. Here's a little stretch, something or the other. Outstretched bead lot. Another bead lot. These are pretty though, and it's got a nice little toggle clasp. They're they're glass, either glass or ceramic. They feel nice. And here's some more pretty beads. Oh, this is nice. These are pretty glass beads. I'm gonna throw that into the glass bead giveaway tonight too, or the bead lot that I'm giving away. Okay, these are the ones that I thought was Bakelite, but now that I look at them, they look like they're way too... Well, first of all, it's a jump ring, right? Didn't the jump ring come later? The color just looks so much like Bakelite, but they sound like plastic, don't they? Yeah, they don't have that beautiful little teen. Nope. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I didn't buy them for this. I didn't even look at the bags. She was, oh gosh, I'll show you the footage, guys. I walk in and the lady tells the other lady, that's the jewelry jar lady that always comes to ask for jars. And she's like, oh, hi or something. And then I said, can I see some jewelry from the counter? This is J. Crew, because I didn't have the jars in the counter. And she said, yeah, sure. So she started bringing out two little trays and I was looking at it and then she, the manager comes by and she said, hey, this is the jewelry jar lady that always asks for the jars do you and then I said do you have it she goes I'm just finished making one I said can you go get it and she said okay hold on she comes out with three and I was like oh my gosh talk about timing she comes out with three so you know I didn't even look at them I'm just like yeah I'm taking them I didn't even get she didn't even get to go to the counter with them and then she comes back after she left them there with the other lady and she's like did you take them did she take them or whatever? And the lady says, yeah, she took all three. She's like, cool. And then I went today again. Did you get any more? No, you took them all yesterday. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. It's got like a faux abalone plastic. And it's very different. I like this one. That's a nice bracelet. And the gold tone is still nice and intact. So that's pretty. Here's a, is this Brighton or a wannabe? Live the life you love. That's pretty. I rarely find, um, I have found Brighton there before. I don't know if it is Brighton or not. It may not be. But it's very well made, very well constructed. It, it should be if it isn't because it's very heavy. I've only found it a couple of times in the counter. And I have found some in the jars. Lots of Brighton watches is what I find. I don't see Brighton written anywhere. But this is a cute ID style bracelet and it says live the life you love and it's got etchings all around really nice bracelet look how thick that is that's cute very cute and here's a little clamper missing some stones though quite a few well two one on each side to test bait light yeah the semichrome is supposed to work it's supposed to turn the q-tip Kind of orangey or something. These are cute. I found the match. Nice. And I think Tanya has a... I think Tanya and Angie. These are dirty, but they're cute. Both have a video on how to test for Bakelite. And I'm not sure... I know that Carla did a video on it, but I don't remember she if she showed a demonstration of how to test. She probably did. Because it was a pretty cool video. All right, little orange one. And another earring. And a chain that's really pretty and a very pretty earring too. Ooh, nice. Oh gosh, I hope I get, well, I do have three bags, so they might be in the other one if they're not in this one. This is a cool earring. Can you see that? With someone with really short hair. Earring, that is cute. We did get a match on this red one. Some hoops, match those up too. Nice. And this one's kind of faded out. I can't tell if it's gold or, or yellow gold or white gold. A heavy one. 
Cute bangle. This is really cute. This is so thin, guys. I told you about that gold one that I found that was super thin, and I wore it yesterday. And it was fall. I had to wear it with my other. It's not sticking. I had to wear it with my other bangles because it's big on me. But it's really pretty and shiny, and it was 14 karat. These don't look like diamonds. But for some reason, the metal really looks interesting. And they are open in the back, so they might be CZs. It might be gold-plated or something. I don't know. I'll have to test that bangle. See what's going on. Because it's not, it's not sticking. And this is a pretty heavy magnet. It'll pick up everything. All right, we'll put that in the testing section. Okay, this was cute. This little necklace is cute. But it's busted, right? Oh, it's so cute. And heavy. That is very pretty. I can't, I think it's supposed to be silver tone and yellow. Yellow gold. I mean, gold tone and silver tone. Those are nice. I'm going to get my husband to fix that. That's super cute. All right. Thanks so much for being here, guys. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and do so. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell because you won't get notified when I go live. If you don't. Okay, I showed you that one already, right? Okay. All right, we did get the match to the turquoise that I like so much. So I'll pack that. I'm packing that. I already checked in. I was surprised that I was able to check in on time. I had to put a, I always forget. And I think it was 8 o'clock sharp that I was supposed to. Is this magnet? That I was, yeah, and these are pearls, real pearls, that I was supposed to check in. And I didn't get an email this time. So I was like, I better set an alarm. And it, I did. So I'm in. Hopefully everything will go well. These are nice, guys. I don't know how they open, though. Could it be that strong of a magnet? Look at that hook there. Maybe it screws. Maybe it twists. Yeah, I think it twists. That is weird. Well, we won't spend too much time because that's but that those are real pearls. Those are nice. Very nice. We got another. Oh, lots and lots of hoops. These are cute. Oh, this is a cute set. This looks like a Stella and Dot thing too. And these look like real pearls too. The potato pearls. These are so cute. Oh, those look nice. Really nice. This was a good bag, guys. I paid $50 again. Uh, is what they're marked, $49.99. But with my discount, I get it for about $35. And another beautiful statement necklace. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start listing all these statement necklaces. I did one whole drawer, which was about 15 necklaces. And now I'm filling up another drawer already. I'm going to do those. And if they don't sell within six months, oh, bingo. I love this earring. I'm going to start putting them in lots. These are so cool. I like them. I love tassels. They feel so fun, too. I could be playing with those. And they're not clip. Sometimes some of the coolest earrings are clip, which is fine because they sell really well. But I can't wear them for very long. This is one of those little ear, ear cuffs or something. It says love. Has love on it. Okay, and we do get the match on the green. Looks vintage. It's also clip. And here was another clip. So that was good. Got matches on that. Got a little tangulation here of necklaces, and we're almost done. And then I'm going to give away the Kendra Scott. And I think I'm going to go ahead and give both of the Kendra Scotts, which was this one, because I'm not sure if these are real or not, guys. They may be fake. So I don't want to send you... Hey, did we get two of these? Okay, no. So I'll send both of them, this one and the other one I just showed you when I find it. Because um, I wasn't sure if they were fake or not. When I, when I picked it up, I got excited. I was like, Kendra. And, but you never know. They they knock off everything these days. And I haven't, uh, and it's still cute. I just wouldn't want to sell it without um, investigating it further. But it's a cute piece. Okay. More tangled up chains. All right, let's, let's unhook this one. Thank you, Thelma. I appreciate that. Oh, 
Well, the Tahitian pearls, they vary. They vary in price value because, you know, because of the oyster opening things and all that, they've really kind of, I think, downgraded the market. And then, of course, there's the freshwater pearls that are less valuable than than the other kind. And then there's the natural and the cultured. And there is a very good website. In my next video, guys, I will start putting links on my Sunday series show on places where you can go look. Because I found one that was amazing. And it had a wealth of information about all kinds of pearls. And it even offered... Um, Restringing surfaces. This is cute. These are all plastic, but they really are pretty. They have a very pretty aqua color. That's a nice necklace. So I'll try to do that, and I'll try to address more of your questions in that show. And, of course, you guys can talk amongst yourselves there, and please leave comments and, um, you know, share your knowledge. I really love it when people come back after these live videos and leave comments. It's it's um, a, learn a learning process for all of us. It really is. These are cute too. Very nice. Okay, I love this chain. This is a very pretty chain. Very delicate. And I don't know what kind of a pendant I would put on there. But that would definitely look nice with a a pendant, maybe something blue. That's pretty. Here's a gold chain, gold tone with a cross. All right, and then we have a lot of scraggly little posts, but sometimes I'll pick one up and it'll be James Avery. I found a little ring when I let, when I thought I was finishing up the jar and then I found a James Avery best friend charm. I have to show you that. <laughs> and it was dark, totally tarnished. I was like, let me take a better look at this. And it was James Avery. This is cute. These are pretty. These are crystal beads. Pink in all colors. And let me see what it says there. It says something. Okay, I'm going to ask two questions, guys. One, the first one. This one says Emily. Emily Ray. Has anybody heard of Emily Ray? And it's 925 on this side. And Emily Ray on that side. So very, very nice jar. I'm very impressed with it. Very, very impressed with it. I really like it. Okay, this will be a nice giveaway too. So we're going to give away um, the Kendra Scotts that we don't know if they're real or not. There's two of them. And we're going to give away this little crystal... Thing that just came out that we found last minute and I'm trying to find the other the other one <laughs> but now I can't find it but you guys saw it so I'm gonna give away two things what the first one is going to be the the bead lot here's some more beads that we saw earlier or that we, I told you about earlier and it basically, it's just a lot of necklaces like this. They're not a bunch of loose beads, okay? I'm just, I run into beautiful beads, guys, like these crystal beads and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not going to list all of these. I put them all together so someone who's really crafty can restring them and have t loads of fun with it, you know? Or I can sell them on eBay when I feel like it. I haven't started doing a lot of junk lots, but I'm going to, or bead lots. So that's why I wanted to give them away because I, I have a lot of them. So the first question I'm going to ask you and uh, you have to close the chat to see them. You you have them too close to... Are you talking to me, Jude? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I am going to start selling the bead lots. Yes, I was just talking about wanting to do... Uh, probably in the summer, I think I'm going to start up a Facebook group. Uh, not a group, but a site or something. Maybe on the marketplace. I'm not sure how it works. But in order to sell only jewelry jars or jewelry lots or that kind of thing bead lots and not jewelry jars per se but you know just like some would be craft lots some would be for wearable possible sellable jewelry you know or just for fun 
All right, so the first question, guys, are y'all ready? We have a buffer now? Oh, my gosh. That would happen. That's what happened last time. That's what happened last time I had a contest. It started buffering right in the middle of it. I hate that. I'm so sorry, guys. Here's another earring. That's pretty. We did find a match to that. Okay, it's clear there, Jude? Okay, fabulous. Here it goes. The first question is... No buff there. What time did I check in to my flight for tomorrow? Whoever gets that gets the bead lot. Okay, it looks like Jackie Rhea was the first one I see here, and she did put 8 o'clock. Fabulous, Jackie Rhea. I'm going to put my email address on the uh, description box, guys, for that giveaway. And you just write to me, and you give me your address. But I'm not going to send it out till I get back from Chicago, which will be Monday. Or Sunday night, but I'll, I'll send it Monday. Okay, so congratulations. That was correct. I did check in at 8 o'clock tonight. Now, the next one is going to be for the two Kendra Scotts that I don't know if they're genuine or not. And the little sterling number we just found. We're going to put those all three together. So it's three necklaces all together. And now I can't even find the other Kendra Scott. It's around here somewhere because I have a big table full of stuff. All right, so that one is for the next question. And the next question is... Who am I going to see in Chicago? Who lives in Chicago that I'm going to go see? Jackie's on a roll. Jackie got it too. Awesome. Jackie, I'm so glad you're here. You are on a roll. You better go buy a lottery ticket because you won that one too. <laughs> so she gets all of them. All right. Wow, that was great. Congratulations, Jackie. I don't even think I've ever seen you in my chats before, but I know a lot of people don't don't talk all the time, but I really appreciate you being here. And um, yeah, wow, that's great. I'm so glad you're here. Please come back again, guys, really soon. I will be here, um, what's tomorrow, Thursday? I'll probably upload a recorded video tomorrow, and then I'll see you on Friday. I'm gonna try to help Sandy with her auction on Friday, if I can. And uh, if not, I will definitely see you on Sunday at 3 p.m. where we're going to talk all about selling this jewelry and how best to do that to your benefit and, you know, to keep that profit margin nice and wide. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. I will post my email down at the description box for Miss Jackie there who won both of the giveaways. And, of course, this will not be the last giveaway. You know, I like to do random giveaways. And I appreciate your time very much. Have a good night.